Hi guys and welcome to this uh, video where we're going to show how to do the, some of the branch cache cache handling and moving the cache from WinP over to the build machine. I've got two machines here. I'm going to kick off the one to the left and that will then start the lead by pulling down the branch cache bits. Uh, after the partition job it will execute the command called uh, enable branch cache which then of course starts the branch cache bits. So there it is. So, uh, if we, for instance, then run the netch command to see what we've got going, after this has actually run, you'll be able to see that it's running, and you'll be able to see that you have the um, active uh, cache size, which is the zero bytes, and as well as the um, network. So if I run it again, you can see that we got about one meg into the cache that goes with them what we see down below so this is a uh, bits job so we will be able to run bits admin slash list and we can see our job here so if I go and try to speed this up it's actually set on a policy to go fast on the local hand but um, slow on the download itself we can see it's limited to about a meg I'm going to run if I can figure out the command here. I'm going to run bits admin set priority and change this job to be a foreground job, which does not use any sort of um, bandwidth awareness or slowness at all. You see that re kicks the job itself, and once that's has, um, kicked in, it will speed up enormously. So you can see we already downloaded 100 meg here. And um, as that moves on, it'll go up to 150 meg. So it's much more faster. So if you skip forward, the download is just completed, and it's actually then going to verify the hash. You can see the bits and bytes that's in the branch cache, which is now actually almost the entire image. And once the verifying of the download hash is finished, we're using the ACP, so the alternative content provider, we hand over to Config Manager, then actually verifies the hash and make sure that the download file is the valid one. And once we skip ahead of that, we'll be able to see that we uh, move into the next phases, which is basically contacting and to get the, um, the drivers, etc. Then we move the branch cache bits. And once we've done that, you'll be able to see that um, once again, if we run the niche command, you can see that we have we're running still. We've been moved off to um, off to a different area on the disk. So we're now running off the C Windows Service Profile profile or um, location, which is the default branch cache one. I'm gonna go ahead and update this job as well, so it goes faster. And once that's done, um, you'll be able to see that it's still using branch cache to put data into the actual um, cache itself. And once it's done completely, it will then exit the task sequence and go into the um, sysprep phase of the machine to make sure it's um, valid and stuff. So. That should be done in a second here. So you can see the last little bits getting through here. And of course that's being the cache, or well, the hash being verified as well. And after that the machine's going to reboot. So now you're probably going to see the, the fastest ever um, sysprep that you've seen in your life. I've speeded up the video same as I did with the uh, image download etc so it will go this very very fast you can see it's getting ready almost done back in the machine so if I take up a console here again uh, you'll be able to see that already the machine has actually got the branch cache services running it's moved over the entire cache as well so we're actually actively serving other machines if you want to so um, 
if I run my command here, you can see it's the service is running, etc. So this move has been done by the move command. It injects early policies into the machine to make sure that the service is started, etc. These settings, of course, will be overwritten by the group policy once once you move into it into the full OS. So I'm going to kick up the machine to the right here and you'll see that that gets going and once we have of course the regular disk part and stuff going it will run the enable branch cache command and once the download starts from WinNP you'll see very very different stats of how fast this is going and why. Well even though it's still a bits job and it's still using a policy to not download fast over the over the WAN link is now using the machine to the left to actually build from. So of course I could have run these two machines simultaneously but I wanted to show in this video uh, that the machines straight after they're actually while they're still building in the full OS can actually share their data and it doesn't seem to be any difference between the cache uh, handling in that we have in Windows 10, which is the Windows 10 PE and Windows 8, which seems that you can actually move these caches from machines to machines very successful. So you can see the speed here on the machine to the right is much, much higher than you had earlier. And that's because it's getting the data from the machine to the left. So here's the IP that you can see from the machine here to the left. And then of course the 10.30 machine is the DP where we're getting the data from. If I open up the registry um, editor, we do save um, some of the stats in the registry as well. Uh, we also send these back as status messages, so you'll be able to uh, pull the reports or look at status messages to see how much data did come from the DP and etc. We do that at the end of the download job, since we actually don't know before that. Uh, we do put in how far the package has gone, but that's about it. So this kind of shows that uh, how effective it is to build machines using branch cache. And that's really what I wanted to uh, put across today. So have a great day and uh, keep branch caching.